Hi, in this video we're going to show you how to convert a Microsoft Hyper-V VHDX file to a VMDK file so you could therefore use your virtual machine in another platform such as VMware Workstation. Okay, so we have Hyper-V Manager open here, so we want to use this Windows 11 Quick VM. So if we go to the settings and then to the disk, we can see there's the location of our disk file there, Windows 11 Quick.VHDX. All right, so we'll close this out. So here is our file that we just saw there. And here's the path again. So it's right inside here. Okay, so we're going to be using a tool called KiwiMU. It's a disk imager. So it's an executable. I use it in Windows and Linux, but it's uh, used via the command line. So what you need to do is open a command prompt to this directory here. Okay, so we'll go to the D drive. All right, so we're in the folder there. Okay, so if you want to see the information about the disk file, uh, you could run it with the info and then the path to the VHDX file. Just put quotes around it if there are any spaces. So let's try this here. So you can see the file format, virtual size, disk size, cluster size. And now what we're going to do is convert it. Okay, so to convert the file, we're going to use the command with convert and dash P uh, to show the progress. And then the name of the Hyper-V file here, the same one here, and then dash O for output to VMDK and the name of the VMDK file we want to create. So for now, I'm just going to put the uh, VMDK file in the same folder as the Hyper-V one, just for simplicity's sake. So we have qemu-img convert-p name of the vhdx file here the whole path then once again quotes if you have spaces dash capital o vmdk and then the path that we want to use to create the vmdk file so you're going to have to add the name just like that you can make it a different name if you want and make sure you put dot vmdk on it okay so let's copy this Okay, so this will take a few minutes to get to 100%, so I'll pause the video and then be back when it's done. Okay, so the process is complete, didn't take too long, and so it just goes back to the prompt when it's done. Okay, so here is our VMDK file, uh, 20 gigs, then we have our original here, 23.5 gigs. So now we'll go over to VMware Workstation and try it out with a new virtual machine. Okay, so we're going to do a new VM here. Okay, we're going to install the operating system later since it already has an operating system on it, so we don't need to do that. We'll pick Windows. We'll pick Windows 11 since that's what it is. We'll call this imported. Okay, we'll put a password in here for our encryption. So with Windows 11, you have to have the TPM and you have to encrypt your files here, so we'll get that done. We'll use UEFI. We'll just do two processors, four gigs of RAM, so this is just a test. We'll use NAT for internet. Discuss a controller, we'll go with the default. Virtual disk type, go with the default. Okay, so now we're going to use an existing disk. Okay, so here is our converted file right here. So you may have the option here to convert your disk to the newer format, so that's up to you, but I'm going to convert it. So here's our summary here, so we'll click on finish. Okay, so now we'll start it up and see what happens. So it'll take a little longer the first time because it has to configure the hardware. Okay. 
Okay, there we go. So now one problem you might run into with Windows 11 uh, with the encryption and TPM is that it sends the different hardware. So it's going to say your PIN is no longer available. Then you'll just have to sign in with your uh, Microsoft account and then reconfigure your PIN. And then you should be good to go. But if you're using a you know, different operating system like Linux or Windows 10, then you shouldn't have this problem. All right, so I'll put a link in the description where you can download the QEMU software. So if you need to convert a Hyper-V VHDX file to a VMDK, then you could do so fairly easily. All right, thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe. Thank <laughs> you.